right, so, all right, uh, between the ages of 15 and 25, most people do something that causes them to not want to tell their parents. Mm -hmm. um, so between the ages of 15 and 25, what did you do that as a parent you would hate if that your daughter would do if she did the same thing? Everything. Every single thing I've done from 15 to 25. I don't want my daughter to do that. No, really, you know, okay. I, was, uh, I was watching some videos. Everything? and you know, No, of course not everything, but, <laughs> you know, our children don't need to be like us. They don't need to look like us. They don't need to, th they don't need to live like us or think like us. They don't need to be like us. They need to be better, happier, yeah. like all, get yeah. all the best they can from us and, you know, just leave the negative. So, though it's almost impossible. So, from the age of 15, <laughs> from the age of 15 to 25, the, the, those were the darkest years of my life, I swear. It started with like my, my grandfather died when I was at the age of 15 yeah. and he was the primary caregiver and I was right. totally heartbroken. So yeah. I've, uh, I tried to drown that pain into people, into meaningless relationships with uh, people who didn't like me, didn't respect me. I had no idea what the, the boundaries were. I started to smoke at the age of 16. Then there were parties, like endless parties, two, three times a week, just not to think about stuff. So, I mean, nothing. Then I've got, I've got myself into a relationship, and those relationships, actually, with abuser brought the best out of me. I actually have seen myself, and I'm now completely sure, like 100%, I am an ideal wife. Like, I'm brilliant. Okay. All I'm right, brilliant. Wait, got, so wait, that's wait, what I would on. like her to maybe to wait, have you for gotta, me. You got to do, do this with me. I don't care how weird it may feel to you. You just got to help me out on this. This I'm giving you a high five. You got to meet me up there somewhere. Give me a high five there on that. High five. Okay. Ideal, wait, repeat it again. You're the ideal what? I'm an ideal, I'm ideal wife. Okay. Make sure I'm going to hold you to that because if you start <laughs> telling me about some guy and he's a flake, I'm going to look at you and go like, can I just rewind? Can I just play for you and rewind over and over what you said you were and you're settling for that? Okay, you got to reach high to the next time. Don't be stooping down low and helping some bum out. Yeah, I want you, you to pick high. Pick Thank high. You. Don't be, girl, you too. Don't, don't be so good that you pick you pick low. Like Absolutely. You, like a rescue dog. You try to, you try to rescue somebody. <laughs> to, it's like my dad talking to me right now. Thank you. <laughs> hey, no, no, hey, look. Yeah, hey, I tell you, boy, you better. I, what's up with you women be going around picking guys that ain't no good, man? Hey, there's a lot of good men out there. There's a lot of good men. You just can't find them because they at work. <laughs> I had little parental guidance. Nobody guided me into right relationships. No, I did all by myself. You're, you're going you're gonna to do fine because I'm going to keep checking in on you every now and then. And I, I'll scold you if you do go the wrong direction. Appreciate okay, it. here we go. Now, you are still an extremely young person. But you are a full-fledged mom and woman. What have you come to recognize to be two of the great qualities that you have? Like with my family or just no, like? No, no, no. This is about you. Don't, 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 no. What two great qualities do you have? I've never said about your family. Don't try to bring them into the picture. Oh, okay. Right. My but great don't, qualities. Don't be super humble right now. You know, false humility. Just what two good qualities you know you have that you bring to the table that could make any relationship better. Let me help you out. I'll say it that way. Okay. I'm beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see. Just answer, answer the question, girl. All right, all right, all right. So uh, <laughs> I, th I really, I think I'm very patient. Like, I am really patient. And uh, I don't... I don't like to argue the way like my parents argued, for example. I've, so, I've seen those explosive fights, you know, you know, like with flying plates around the house. And I, I don't, I hate that violence. Like, I believe that everything can be talked through with like just a calm conversation. I'm, inc I'm incredibly patient yeah. and I'm incredibly loving because the way I am, getting my heart invested to a hundred percent into relationship. Like it's probably maybe even not right, but um, yeah, 
I would say that I'm an incredibly loyal person. Like, for sure. A loving and loyal person. I mean, what the hell? What the hell? I would date myself, for sure. Like, I would. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Wait, hold on, look. Look, this is my buddy here. This is my buddy Milo. He's single. Why don't you just go ahead? Just, you, <laughs> just go. Hi, Milo. Listen, look, Milo. Like, look, Milo agrees with you. Please don't settle for any loser. No losers. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. So, so what you've come, what you've come to officially say that is recorded and will be uh, forever held in the social media file <laughs> will be played back to you. If you're sitting there having to go through clinical psychology and therapy all over again because you chose some boyfriend that's a, a loser, uh, I'm gonna make I sure. I don't have I, a boyfriend. I'm, I'm just. I never. I never said you did. So uh, you know, don't. Hey, don't turn on the. Don't turn on the fatherly figure that's just talking. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. So so. Uh, okay. Now, um, I'm gonna see if I can show you this. Hold on one second. Hold on. Just hold on there. You see that there? Kind of... Oh my! Okay. That's my that's my countdown because I told you we're gonna, we're gonna spend twenty minutes and I'm way ahead of schedule, so I know I'm the bomb. All right, so here we go. <laughs> so here we go. I'm down to the last thing here. Okay. Now I get to tell you this, and you just get to sit there and listen, and then I'm going to I'm going to say something to you that I need you to express your feelings on. You love being a very useful person who serves a purpose. And um, well, you want to be loved. So, so you're a very loving person who loves to help other people, but you yourself like to be useful and you like to be loved. Of course, love like uh, all of us humans do. And uh, you want to have a purpose in life. And again, like all of us humans do. But you have fought very hard to overcome depression, uh, being tense and stressed and finding a new avenue for you to learn and that's clinical psychology. In your process of life, you are going to leave a legacy for your daughter of a woman who could not be pushed around and could be thrown to the curb or be abused. That's a good thing. But one thing is for sure, you have to love the one you is. You know what I mean? You have to do that. You have to love the one you is. That's what you got to do. Love the one you, you is. You know the story. Yes. So yes. this is what I'm going to ask of you. You're not able to read it to us right now. Yes or no? Yeah, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> you said you can't, right? Yeah, it's on my phone, so I can't, you know, okay. have a live stream and read at the same no, time. No, you can't. You can't. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I, I was ready for that. Because you can't read it, I want you. I hope I'm not too close to the mic there. It came out wrong. I, I, I need you to do me a favor. There is someone that needs, that does not know that story. And they need to hear from you, even though you can't read it to them. And I... You, I would love to have you read it to, to people right now that don't feel that they're enough or they don't have self-worth or they don't, they're confused about what they want to do with their life or anything like that. Or they just want to be a kid again. I have it. I have no it. Way. I know where is it. No, you wait, just, wait. Okay, wait, but wait. you got to hurt. Look, it's 12 minutes. I only got a little bit of time. You got to get it and read it real quick. Okay. Go okay. ahead. I'll, listen. So now since she's gone to go do that, that means I get to talk to you guys. So this is what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, I need you to contact me. I if... wrote it. I remember I did. I know. Oh, you did. Oh, you wrote it up. Okay, wait, let me finish. Yeah. I'm making, I'm making something up to buy some time. So I'll just keep making stuff up. I need everybody that uh, watches this, whether the download version or here at the live, I need you to contact me. If you know anyone or send their name to me that I can ask them to be on the show that's just like Lily. They have to be positive, they have to be informative, and they have to be, well, how can I put it? They have to be fun. 
because uh, we talk about some very serious subjects here on Narc Abuse TV. That's one of my public service pages, as well as Open Session Podcast, which is this page that we're on right now. Uh, so please, by all means, contact me if you want to recommend somebody that you'd like to see on the show, uh, and we will see what we can do uh, if that's the case. So again, Lily's going to, if you got it there, Lily's going to read something to us. Uh, we did put a clock on this uh, so everybody understands. It's not that we don't want to be hanging out with each other and talking but uh, and about mental health and stuff like that. But uh, she does need to go get her daughter in a little bit. And that's why I set up a clock so that uh, she can leave on time and uh, not tardy in picking up her daughter. Because if she is, uh, Grandpa Paxton going to be mad. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so um, you got it? Nope. If not, I, I'll I've, got, I've got, but it's a, another chapter. It's from the chapter six. And yes, it's called Love the One You Is. But yeah, there is, uh, it's a little bit different. Another page, you, but it's, it's still what, amazing. What what could you possibly share to encourage someone who feels that they have just, uh, well, been un uh, undervalued and unappreciated? Whatever you want to say before you go right now. If you feel undervalued and appreciated, that only means that you still look for validation in the outside world. And believe me, there is nothing there <laughs> that can bring you up. Nothing and no one can make you feel good about you. And that's a dangerous notion only because if that person or that thing steps aside, you're plummeting down and you're going to hit the earth really hard and it's going to be really painful. Do not seek the validation and that love outside because the world around us is only the reflection of what we have within. And if within yourself you have love and peace and self-acceptance, you're not going to allow anything less than that into your life and you will see that slowly things will start changing and you will be surrounded by people who are a perfect reflection of how you feel about yourself the only thing you really need is to learn to love yourself for your own heart for your own personality find those things that you really it was the hardest thing for me to do is to sit down and write down at least 10 qualities that I really like and appreciate about myself that was the hardest thing ever because my parents taught me that it's selfish so loving yourself is selfish yeah, sure. talking how great you are it's so bad it's embarrassing what people are gonna say about you but the only thing you have to love yourself first and you don't need to be rich or smart or talented or famous for that. You don't need none of that. You just need to love yourself for your own heart, for this opportunity to live and get better. Take the challenges with, um, you know, with joy because you have a chance to you become a better person. Take it as fun. Take every challenge with fun. Okay, what can I do different from the last time? The last time I made a mistake, it didn't work out. How can I behave this time? Make it better. Make it different. It's all an experience. We have negative attitude towards mistakes. We're all driven by perfection. We have to be perfect. There is nothing. There is no such a thing when it comes to life. Our life is about mistakes. We should not repeat same behavior, especially if it doesn't give good results. You just try a different one. If before you were in a relationship where you were giving too much of yourself, now next time you get yourself into relationships and just make that person deserve it. Make them work for it. Make them, you know, show you that they actually, they are those people you can trust. Let them earn that trust because, you know, you know what you have to give. So just, you know, Accept and love yourself for who you are, no matter how hard it is. This is something to concentrate on. There is nothing in the outside world that can make you feel good about yourself. Not even money, though they are important. No. But there are a lot of no. people out there, they have money, they hate themselves. The money yeah, yeah, doesn't buy totally your self-esteem. That's, 